Oh, welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretensions that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. The weapon of our warfare is not the weapons of this world. Why? Because we are not fighting a battle against each other, against flesh and blood. We are fighting a battle against the spirits, the rulers of this world, wicked forces. Friends, these are the enemies that we fight against. Therefore, friends, let's not use the weapons of this world, the conventional weapons. The sword, the gun, the bomb. Friends, these are not the things that we need. Uh, friends, remember that when we fight against spirit, we don't even see them. Therefore, let's use the weapons that has divine power. And this is the word of God. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. Amen. The word of God is powerful. It's sharper than a double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the division of soul and spirit, thoughts and intents of the heart, bones and marrows. It penetrates through these things, friends. Therefore, let us use the word of God. Amen. So that through the word of God, we can make captive every thought, every intent, everything that comes against the knowledge of God because friends the devil can come and confuse us and that is the stronghold of the devil friends the stronghold of the devil is the mind but let's make our mind captive to the word of God so that the mind will be saturated with the word of God that the mind will not be confused the mind will not go against the knowledge of God because the mind will be the captive of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That we shall have the mind of Christ. We shall think like Christ will think. We shall have the faith in God. Friends, these are the things that we get to consider as we live our Christian life. Yes, we are not fighting against each other. When we are fighting against its other friends, always remember that it is the spirit in the person that we are fighting against. See, not the person himself or herself. You can kill the person, friends, but the spirit won't die. That spirit will just move to another person. And the following day, friends, you will fight again yourself fighting against the same spirit in another person. So when will you ever win the battle? You will not win the battle until you bring in the word of God. And let the word of God do the work of fighting the battle for you, friends. The word of God will reveal how you can win that person. You will not win not by might, not by power. But the word of God will even tell you to love the person. Yes. That's the reason why Jesus said that love your enemy. Because if you are able to love your enemy, obeying the commands of the Lord, uh, friends, you know what happens? That enemy can become your friend you can overcome the spirit in that person that that spirit will submit to the word of god and that person will even forgive that person will also learn how to love then you have won the battle amen that spirit even if it moves to another person that same spirit will be your friend because that is a spirit of love there will be a spirit of forgiveness. So, it's no longer that wicked spirit of hatred and anger that prevails in a person. But rather, friends, that spirit had been subdued by the word of God. So, always remember that. Amen. Let everything be captive 
to the word of the Lord. Amen. That we may win our battle. Yes, let's use the sword of the Spirit, the word of God. It has divine power to demolish his stronghold. No matter how hateful a person is, that sword of the Spirit, the word of God, can demolish that stronghold. No matter how unbelieving that person is, the word of God can demolish that unbelief, that he can subdue it, and he can make it obedient to Christ. Amen. Therefore, friends, today, you're looking for a power, you're looking for a weapon that you can use to go against your enemies, use the word of God. And the word of God tells you, love your enemy. Amen. Forgive your enemies. In Jesus' name, if you do that, you are a victor. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.